Hello, it's me, this time from Indianapolis. I can't believe this is actually, um, well, I'm actually over halfway through my Churchill Fellowship now. Um, and it's a bit strange because Finland seems such a long time ago now, and it's only really a couple of weeks. Um, last week I was in California where I stayed with Cheryl and with Sue uh, they were great hosts and lovely to be with and uh, big thanks to Cheryl who organized my schedule for last week which was pretty packed but very exciting um, and everything from uh, visiting local schools private schools as well as state schools and some preschools as well um, I also went to see some teacher trainers at the Holy Names University in the Kodai Centre. That was fascinating. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute because I think teacher training is key to what I'm studying really. Um, and I also visited the Piedmont East Bay Children's Choir and it was great to see them again because of course they visited us in Sutton Coalfield um, two years ago, in fact just over two years ago, and stayed with some of our families. Um, and so it was really lovely to see them and talk with them and find out what they've been up to. Um, I also actually saw the San Francisco Girls Chorus. So a pretty packed week, but every single musical activity that I saw was of immense high quality. Um, and it's interesting because in the USA, the, the American education system is actually quite similar to ours in that music is being cut and it's not given as much importance as it's believed it should have, much like in the UK. So here it's very much me observing really good practice where it's happening and the difference that it's making to those children. So, for example, at the preschool uh, that I saw at Pacific Primary School last week with Kate, Kate Offer, uh, she was brilliant with these kids and they get three or four times, three or four sessions, four times a week with her. And actually, that's a really important part of their preschool education because it helps them with their language and their watching and their listening. Um, and of course, in primary school as well, those skills are further developed. So I saw a number of different lessons where the kids were really engaged and the principal of the, the school was telling me how important music is and, and, and how it really does make a difference to those kids. But uh, coming back to teacher training for a moment, um, it's interesting. I had a, a really long discussion with uh, Marie Hennessy, who uh, lectures at the university, Holy Names University. And uh, we had a long discussion about teacher training or the lack of music teacher training. Um, and that, that is such an important part of getting music into schools. Because I know that in the UK, there are musicians, really good musicians, who are training to be music teachers who won't sing who just won't sing or are frightened of singing. Maybe somebody told them that they couldn't sing when they were younger. But actually it's so important that not only do high school music teachers get training to sing, but that also ordinary primary school teachers get the, ch the chance and the opportunity to learn how to teach music. And uh, yes, of course, nobody can expect a non-specialist to teach to the same level as a specialist. But actually, there are some really good concepts that you can learn through Kodai methods that I saw at the university and that we use in our choirs now, actually, um, that make music really accessible. And it's a really good way of teaching kids how music works. So it'll be really interesting when I come back to the UK, actually, to, to just take stock of, of how many of our universities are actually are providing music lectures for teachers who are going to be ordinary primary schools because I really think this is key to actually getting music into our schools and if that's not happening at the training level it's never ever going to filter through and it's interesting because when I was in Finland I actually had a discussion with Sana there from the Uvascular University and she said oh, we're a bit worried about teacher training and, and music teacher training for primary schools and it's getting less and less and so when I asked how much training they get, the answer was, oh, it's only about 60 hours now. And my draw dropped because 60 hours, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Imagine if every primary school in the UK or every primary school teacher training to be a 
primary school teacher in the UK got 60 hours of music lectures, that would make a massive difference. We would be getting more music into schools. And actually, maybe the other option is to train more specialists as well, because having seen specialists working in state schools and in private schools, the difference that that makes is, is phenomenal. So um, I'm at a point now where um, I'm actually full of information <laughs> and it's finding the time to digest it all. Thankfully, I've recorded a lot of my interviews. So um, on my voice recorder on my phone, I can listen back to what people have said and remember what they've said. Um, this week, I'm actually spending my time in Indianapolis and I'm currently looking at the Indianapolis Children's Choir, which is an amazing organisation. Uh, they serve over 2,000 young people and children on average every week from preschool right up to high school. Um, I've already seen three of their concerts last weekend. They were phenomenal. Um, and their musicianship as well is phenomenal. And that comes down to not just passionate teachers, but the system that they use, the Kodai system and the, the training, the musical training that they get in musical theory that they build into all of their rehearsals. Um, it, it gets a really high level of performance and musical understanding. So it's been fascinating to, to start to get to know this organisation and to meet their team. So next time I report back, I will have finished my time in Indianapolis and I will actually be in Chicago. So that's my next stop where I'll be looking at the Glen Ellyn Children's Chorus and also the Naperville Children's Choir. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. But that's about it for now. I think I've said everything I need to say. Um, I'm really enjoying my travels. Um, I can't believe that I'm almost into the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been a real journey and I've got lots and lots of ideas and things that I want to bring back to the UK, which is what this is all about. So thanks again for following and enjoying my posts. I uh, really appreciate the feedback um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.